Hey, what's going on? So I got a little different video here today. I'm in the truck. I'm my way out to Syracuse. And uh, I don't know why I felt compelled to make this video right now, but uh, I wanted to talk about just some of the stuff that as a contractor that you deal with, just day-to-day -day things that people I don't think realize come along with the territory, you know? Um, a lot of times you're doing a job and I hear this all the time like oh it only is you know it's just gonna take an hour or something right and yes if you have everything you need and nothing breaks and nothing goes wrong something could take an hour right so this morning I the, the one big job I had to do today was to silicone a shower right and so I went over there and uh, we grouted yesterday so today went over and just buffed it down and got it ready vacuumed it all up and then started looking around the house for the silicone that I could have sworn was purchased back in February when all the tile was purchased before COVID hit and everything got shut down so um, I searched the house and then I said well maybe by accident I took it to my house so I went to my house and checked in my caulk bin that I've got. I got a five gallon bucket where I throw all my caulk in there and where my caulk gun is and all that. So I checked that, wasn't there. So all right, well I'll go check my shop with all my tile stuff, because the tile's all done and I brought all the tile stuff home. So I checked there, it's not there. I checked the lady's basement. I checked everywhere, <laughs> closets in their house, everything. Couldn't find it and so I now have to go drive out to the city to go buy two tubes of silicone. And I have to drive out there because it's matching silicone that matches the grout color. So basically I gotta drive 40 minutes or so out to this tile place to pick up the silicone, 40 minutes back, and then silicone it. After wasting an hour probably already searching around frantically around the house, going home, looking in the caulk bucket and going to my shop looking for it there so <laughs> you know what was supposed to be a very short job this morning has turned into an all-day affair um, and of course I cannot charge the homeowner in good conscience for driving around looking for a material that I thought was already purchased um, because I did give them the material list and if I didn't put it on there then it didn't get purchased and if it got purchased and it got lost somewhere in the uh, shuffle during COVID you know I'm just gonna have to eat this one you know so unfortunately this special silicone is really expensive I just called in the order while I was driving and uh, it's like $38 for two tubes of silicone but it's special made by Laticrete, matches the, uh, matches the grout, and gets what you gotta use. So, anyway, it's just one of the little uh, unforeseen frustrations, day-to-day -day things that happen all the time in construction, and probably in most businesses, I would assume, but it happens all the time in construction. You're missing a tool or whatever, and just downtime based on something so small as a tube of silicone. So. That's it. I just wanted to share that today. So, <laughs> if you uh, got anything out of this, you find this humorous at all, give me a thumbs up down below and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give me some stories of stuff that you've searched frantically for to never find on a job site and had to go rebuy, or maybe you never bought in the first place. Who knows? So, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.